Yeah, it was uh, it was good to obviously start the season off with a win, and um, I think our, our preparation was really good. You saw it in the way that we came out and had a really good first period, and you know we were kind of you know we gave ourselves a, a good chance to to get our game going and establish the lead and kind of take our habits and work ethic from the three practices leading into Thursday into the game yesterday. So that was good to see, but you know. Uh, after we made it 5-1, it was kind of like we, we let them uh, creep back in. So those are, you know, those are things that you learn throughout the season, uh, you know, things that you touch up on and things that you, obviously, you go over the things that you did well, and, you, you, and that's one of the things. And then you go over the things that you need to improve on, and that's one of them is, you know, never getting comfortable or uh, with, with anything, regardless of the score or whatnot. We just... Got to play that we got to play play the way that we got to play uh, for all sixty minutes, and you know that's that's I think that's the biggest learning lesson uh, taken away from last night. It's a new team and a new year, but what are the challenges in finding that balance between forgetting about what happened against the Oilers last postseason and remembering just enough to use it to your advantage? Yeah, I think I think you you said it perfectly there. It's 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 a fine line of of not letting the emotions of last year get the better of you and uh, and and turning the page and you know moving on to uh, a new year a new season a new rivalry new faces in the rivalry now uh, and, and all that type of stuff so uh, regardless of the fact uh, you know it is a you know Battle of Alberta game big rivalry game game that means a lot both teams are 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 expected to do well this year, so I think that just adds to to the rivalry and uh, should make for a really good Saturday night game. Uh, Cheers. Is there anything much more important in the change of this team um, than how deep you are now down the middle of the rink at center and the options that that gives you? Yeah, that's huge. You know, uh, being deep in the center position is 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 obviously really important. You look at all the elite teams in the league, that's, you know, they're, they're deep in, in that position. And you look at the teams in the past that have won, you know, they've, they've had centermen. And, and for the most part, you know, the guy that carries the play and has the puck on his stick is, is the centerman. And, uh, and yeah, so when you're deep in that position, it's, it's, it's a confident feeling going into every game. And, uh, as a winger, it don't matter who you're playing with. You know you're playing with a good center, centerman, and and that gives us a lot of confidence. What uh, did you see, Cadre's Stanley Cup ring? I did not. Uh, I think all of us left by the time he got it. But uh, it's real funny, uh, you know, even just seeing it on on Instagram and pictures of it. Uh, you know how much it's evolved from my Stanley Cup ring <laughs> to his Stanley Cup. Smaller, no, they, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and. <laughs> It's real funny because I remember, uh, you know, uh, you know, Doug Jarvis brought in one of his cup rings. Uh, Johnny Busick always wore uh, his cup rings, and those were wearable rings. You know, they 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 wore them daily. And then you know you got and you see you know uh, Mark Recchi would bring around his his uh, Pittsburgh ring, and then you see the evolution what it got into to his Carolina ring and Sean Thornton's ring to. <laughs> You know what we thought when we got ours in 2011 were were huge rings, and now you're seeing, you know, Colsey's ring and and you know I'd like to see uh, 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 Nas's ring, but yeah, you like I said, you see the evolution of the rings, and and now they're becoming more trophies than they are our our, our rings. And actually, one of the coolest things that we have is uh, is um, Charlie Jacobs' wife Kim. Uh, she made um, dog tags for us out of David Yurman and on the back side she uh, imprinted uh, you know the Bruins logo with Stanley Cup uh, champions 2001 and we have him on a dog tag with a David Yurman necklace and honestly that's that's what I probably wear the most and like I said it's just something that's wearable and yeah. and you know you can cover it up too you wear it under your shirt something that's you know just wear that's personal and you know that's that's probably what I wear the most out of all my things. Have you ever have you ever seen the display at the Hockey Hall of Fame of the rings from all the years behind the Great Hall? I have not. No. Uh, kind of illustrates what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, 
It's funny, yeah, the last time I was there was when we were, uh, right after we won, was in Toronto, but we didn't really have a time to look at much, but yeah, like I said, it is, it is pretty cool to see the differences and, and how it has evolved, and I'm sure it'll keep, keep evolving. Uh, where do you keep yours right now? Do you wear it every day? That... Uh, no, you know, just once in a while I wear, I wear the dog tag, and I have, I have the uh, ring put away in a safe and, and all that type of stuff. I saw the Sweet 16 tweet the other day. How, how grateful are you feeling right now to you know, still, still be playing kind of a regular role and, and still be doing this? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's great. Obviously, it's, it's, it's something that I've always wanted to do from, when I, from when I, what I remember as a kid. And uh, still, it's, it's, it, it is the only thing I want to do. And I think that's why uh, I am grateful to be in this position and to be playing in the NHL, like you said, in, in, in a regular role. And uh, fortunately, you know, I've been able to, to stay healthy for most of my career. You know, I haven't missed a lot of games. Um, you know, coming to the rink every day with a great group of guys, you know, it makes it a lot of fun. And that's something, you know, that's, that's something that I wanted to, you know, work on this summer as well as, you know, just kind of the mental approach of it, you know, being grateful, being humble and, you know, look forward to it and, and being happy. And I think that's why I took time away and, and went on trips and, and spent time with the family and all that type of stuff. Because, you know, when you, when you kind of sit back and look at it all and, and put it in perspective, you are, you know, you are lucky to, to live the life that you do and get to uh, live the dream that you do. And, and this is your reality on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's, and, you know, it is awesome. So I just want to keep doing it as long as I can and keep making it a, a positive thing in my life. And, and as you guys see, I, I try to bring my kids around as much as I can and make them a part of it. And, you know, they're old enough to know what's going on now. So it's just a... Uh, you know, it's just it's it's a great thing to to do, like I said, on a day to day basis. Did the pandemic last question change your like give you that much more uh, appreciation for that stuff, like in terms of being grateful and wanting to savor the moments here, type of thing? I think so, I, and I, I, yeah, for sure. Just yeah, just going through that all, uh, and and now getting a chance, and and just I think we've all had a lot of time to. Uh, reflect and, and think about uh, our lives and livelihood and, and what it's all about and what certain things mean to you. And yeah, so just like you said, going through the pandemic and thinking about it all, it's definitely uh, made me more grateful for it. And, you know, uh, I remember Dean Lombardi said to me when I was playing in LA, uh, don't ever lose that little kid inside of you. And that's, you know, that's something that I've, I've always lived by ever since he said it to me. And, and that's what I still try to do. Uh -huh.